everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing my how to style my aerial wig tutorial or kind of just like a walkthrough um, I'm gonna be styling my swimmable mermaid um, wig today so I hope this is helpful I'm just gonna show you guys how I achieved these bangs and here they are so keep watching if you'd like to learn how to get this aerial wig <clears throat> So here I have my two aerial wigs, and these are the old ones. There's a super long one right here. You can kind of see it's way longer. And then we have a shorter one right here. And so I'm going to show you how I brush them out and put them together. This is my swimming wig now. My new wig is in the mail. The next step is to put the two wigs together. So what I usually do is I lay the short one out first and then I come in with this bigger one and I sort of just place it inside the smaller one. Line up the hairlines. Once it's lined up, I go in with a safety pin Please excuse my rugged appearance. I am clearly not ready for any type of princess activities ever. Um, but I am going to just show you guys how I style my aerial wig. This is my swimming aerial wig. Um, so this is my dry aerial wig and you can tell a huge difference in the colors. This one is an Arda wig and it is in the color cherry red. It is the Luthien wig. It's very long, it's very fluffy and curly. Um, you can achieve these curls in a multiple different ways. I achieve them by doing my foil curling. You can curl them any way you'd like. Um, but this is my dry aerial wig, so whenever I'm not swimming or um, in the human costume, this is the wig that I will wear. Um, you can tell that there's a lot of different color difference here. This one is a lot lighter. This one is a lot darker. This one was purchased online. This one was purchased at a local wig store. This one I've been using for years, and this one is brand new. So uh, this one is a lot shorter, and the hair is not as curly. It's also a lot more, um, it's, it's a little bit tattered. So there's a reason why I have a wet wig and a dry wig. This one I'd like to keep um, uh, uh, safe, <laughs> not putting it in chlorine, not putting it in water, um, just simply wearing it dry. So that is the dry wig, that is the wet wig. What I do is I pull out the bangs of the bottom wig and I just push them out and sort of brush them so that they're very dominant, <laughs> that they're showing a lot. And you can kind of see that when I pull this top wig out, there's a lot of hair pulled to the front, and that's what I want because I want not just bang pieces to make my big bangs, I want a lot of long pieces. So then I put the second wig on top and do the same kind of thing. Now um, I have tons of hair in the front for bangs. This is about all the bangs. 
So if you have a wig, you'll notice that it has these little corner pieces where they go right over your ears. What I do is I like to put the part way over to the side so that when it's on your head, the part's going to be about here. That way when you have your bang piece, it'll sweep over your whole head and it won't look like your bangs start up in the middle. I want my bangs to start right here underneath where my eyebrow is. So as you can see, the part is extremely close to the little earpiece and then I just attach them together with safety pins. It's really a no-brainer. So then what I do is I put my wig on the wig cap and you want to put the wig on the head exactly the same way you're going to put it on your head. So as you can see, my part is over here, my earpiece is there, and I'm actually going to pull it even further, and it's exactly where it would be on my head. Then I pin it to the, on the side right here so that it doesn't move. Because when I'm styling, I don't want it to shift and then accidentally I'm styling the wrong way. So now what I like to do is, you have to decide which side you want your bangs to be styled on. This wig goes left, that wig in there goes right. So it just depends on which side is your best. Um, I might end up fixing the other wig to go left because I usually do left. Um, but what I do first is I actually gather the hairs, brush them out, and then I'm actually going to pick up the pieces of hair. And if you want big volume in your bangs, a lot of wigs will um, style this way that I'm about to show you. Um, so you just have to practice and mess with it and see what works for your wig and what doesn't. So what I like to do is I like to grab a piece of hair and a hair dryer and I just apply heat. And I'm applying the heat in the opposite direction that I want it to go so that I have that nice volume. And I actually take the hair, brush it through, and tease it a lot. But you want to be careful not to have too much tease on the top. And then I just flip it over so that it can kind of stay out of the way. So I'm just going to continue that with all of my bang pieces. I'm going to blow dry them in the opposite direction and then tease them. Okay, so once all my hair has been blow dried and um, moved over, what I like to do is, if your wig came with um, small bangs like mine has, you can see these little bang pieces, those are definitely not going to cooperate with us. So what I like to do is use them as another form of volume for the bangs. So I like to pull them all forward. Just make sure you have all the little short pieces because you don't want to use all your long ones for this. But I like to gather them up like so. So you see I have them all in my hand here. I like to tease them a lot. So they're going to be like obnoxiously teased. <laughs> and then what I like to do is take them, make sure there's no long pieces in here, and I like to actually flip them backwards and sort of roll them into this like bunch. So you can kind of see there's like a big knotted bunch right there. And then pin it. So you can kind of see now there's like this roll of short hairs. It's really thick. It's really ugly. And what I do after that is I take all my bang pieces, which is this, all this hair, and I flip it back to the side that I want it to go on. See how it's kind of resisting? That's good. That's what you want. You want resistance because this is what's giving you all the volume that you want so that when you go to style your bangs, 
they're super poofy and they're not flat because flat bangs are not good bangs. So then what I do is I get all the hair and I kind of brush it to the front. Just kind of work your comb through it because you want all this hair to be in the bangs. Looking nice. And then you just kind of have to shape them the way that you want. For me, I like them to be round and smooth. And what I like to do is just kind of pull them to one side and find where I'm going to attach them and then start kind of combing them over like this. and just brush them. It really just depends on how you like your own bangs and really this is a good idea to do with this bang styling is to do it on your head because then you can really see like the shape of your face and what works for your face shape. So here I have this big poofy bang and I just kind of wrap the extra hair around itself so it's in a nice little twist and then I bobby pin it like this so that the bobby pin like hardly shows and then I like to spray the ever living crap out of it I'm using this Tresemme extra firm control because I lost my big one um, so I'm just going to spray and another trick that I like to do guys is I like to take a comb kind of like this and I like to just kind of jab it into the styrofoam head and as you can see it kind of lifts the bangs up off of the head itself and this kind of is going to help it to when I spray it it's going to help those bangs stay up and because the holes in the um, comb the hairspray can get kind of in between there and really stick and then when I take the comb out later when I'm ready to wear this the bangs will be lifted and super voluminous and you can see here there's like pieces right there bang which if you wanted to you could pin those as well so you could pin them sort of together like this. And if you have a, a hair piece that you like to use, you could stick it right here so that the bobby pins don't show at all. So. Okay, so now that I've sprayed the ever living crap out of my wig, I'm gonna let it sit for a while. And I will show you what it looks like on. So here's, let me get you a close up. Here's a quick little close-up of the bangs, and you can see the sparkling of the hairspray on there. And there's that side, and you can kind of see the back too, and from far away. So yes, I will show you what it looks like on. Alright, so this is what the wig looks like on. It's a little high up here at the top, so all I'm going to do is just kind of push it down a little. Um, I'll probably take this out and just maneuver it around, but I really like how it looks from the side. And I'm pretty pleased with it. So yeah, that is how I style my aerial bangs. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video.